Hey guys, I want to offer a big congratulations to Big Poppy, David Ortiz, to being voted in by the Major League uh, Baseball Writers Association of America to be this year's Hall of Fame inductee in Cooperstown. The one player to get in this year. He got 77.9% of the vote, passing the mandatory 75% in his first ballot, his first year. So of eligibility. So um, just falling short were Barry Bonds at 66%, Roger Clements at 65%, and then there was a little bit of a drop to Kurt Schilling at 58%, and then you also had uh, Billy Wagner, I think Todd Helton in the 50s as well. Um, that's kind of the, the top five or top six and, and, and how they kind of trended, whether it be up or down. Um, it was funny because earlier today, Bonds and Clements were over the 75% threshold, but I guess once the remaining votes came in, they didn't, they didn't get in. And this was their last year, their 10th and final year on the ballot. So if they're going to get in now, it's going to have to be by the uh, Major League Baseball Veterans Association. So they're no longer on the writer's ballot. And um, you know, I find it's, it's interesting because, and, and don't get me wrong, Ortiz is, I mean, 540-plus home runs. He's probably, in my opinion, the biggest, um, well, the greatest offensive clutch performer in postseason history. And he became a legend in Boston. He was not a Hall of Famer or even on – the path, or even close to it, when he was in Minnesota. When he came to Boston, he turned into a baseball god. I mean, and then they added Manny Ramirez, who also fell um, in, in 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 the ballot as well. But he became, you know, one of the most feared hitters in all of baseball. Nobody wanted to pitch him, and he owned the Yankees, which I hate to say, but he owned the Yankees. And um, you know, he wasn't on that track until he went to Boston, and everything changed. Bonds was already on that track because he's one of the greatest players in baseball. Um, but then he also looked like me when he first started baseball, and then he looked like, you know, uh, Dwayne the Rock Johnson. He was a huge dude, so you could see physical changes in his body, right? Roger Clements was already a big dude, and he was also on a Hall of Fame path. But unfortunately, these guys were, um, you know, implicated or whatever in uh, perform. Uh, uh, the Mitchell Report and some other performance enhancing stuff. You know, neither one of them tested positive, and neither did neither did Big Poppy. So none of these guys tested positive, but also Poppy is the first player tied to performance-enhancing drugs to ever make the Hall of Fame. Poppy was also beloved around baseball by the players, his teammates, reporters, everybody. He had a great personality, and and I remember he 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 really uh, lifted up the city right after the Boston bombing, the Boston Marathon bombing. Yeah, I, mean, I remember it. I'll never forget that, and uh, so I got to give him credit for that too. But again, one of the best left-handed you know, hitters in, in baseball history, even though he was tied to the thing. But again... None of these three guys ever failed a drug test or tested positive. So, you know, but this is where accusations can sometimes be, you know, considered just as bad as the offense itself. But it is what it is. So Clements and, and Bonds are off the ballot now and uh, Poppy's in. So, you know, and I do think, you know, upon the merits, like I, I felt before today that if Ortiz was going to get in, then Clements and Bonds should get in too, only because they're... Clements is amongst the very, 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 very top uh, top five greatest right-handed pitchers in history. And almost 5,000 strikeouts, 354 wins, seven Cy Young Award win, seven Cy Youngs, um, a couple of rings with the Yankees as well. And Barry Bonds, as we know, the all-time home run leader, all-time single-season home run leader, I mean, 763 home runs, like 2,000 RBIs, and just oodles and oodles of MVPs and just... You know, he's the only guy I've ever known to get intentionally walked on a regular basis with the bases loaded. Nobody wanted to pitch to him. They wanted to pitch to him less than they wanted to pitch to Ortiz, and that was obvious. So at, at some point, I do think Bonds and Clements will get him with the Veterans Association, but not right now. I mean, I, I don't know when that's going to happen, but um, those are the results. So Big Poppy, congratulations, and again, thank you for you know a great career. And, uh, you know, Barry Bonds and Roger Clements, we'll see. And, and I, I'm, I'm a little bit disappointed because I, I grew up idolizing Roger Clements. He was the pitcher, I, the player. My, he was my favorite player, a pitcher in baseball. It was him and Don Mattingly. And uh, I idolized him from the beginning. I actually met the guy. He was actually a really nice guy. And uh, But it is what it is. This is what happens when you're tied to this stuff. And uh, we'll see. Maybe they'll get in at some point because their stats definitely justify. And, and even, even if... None of that stuff turned out to ever be true. They were still on Hall of Fame trajectory one way or another. So they'll likely get in, but who knows how long that's going to take. But Big Poppy, David Ortiz, congratulations on a great career. And uh, by the way, make sure you hit that subscribe button if you want to be kept in the loop on everything pertaining to this lockout too. Um, all the breaking news, when it ends, you're going to find out here, obviously. And um, always take a look in the description as well. I put a whole bunch of videos keeping 
you know, given all the updates in terms of the lockout too, there's been a lot of progress over the last two days. So don't miss those videos if you want to get fed in with the inside info and hit that bell icon too. So it's really helpful to the channel's growth. So, but I thank you guys for coming by and watching. If you enjoyed it, hit the like button and I'll keep it coming guys over now.